Welcome to my channel, I'm Gary Wiryawan and in today's video, we're going to talk about using Panasonic Lumix GX85 or any other Panasonic Lumix cameras for stills photography. Intro! I really hope that you like that intro but anyway today we're going to talk about this guy and some misconceptions especially regarding about using Panasonic Lumix cameras for taking still pictures. So if we're using Micro Four Thirds camera format we know that there are two main brands that we use in Micro Four Thirds. First is Panasonic Lumix which I have right here which is branded more as a hybrid video and photography camera and also we have Olympus who are focusing more for still photography and now Olympus already turned into OM system and that categorization Olympus for stills camera, Panasonic for video camera sometimes lead into this misconception where people think that Panasonic Lumix camera is not good enough for still photography and if you're using micro photos and if you want to do still photography you should use Olympus or OM system cameras. So hopefully by making this video I can help to clear some misconception and confusion about using Panasonic Lumix camera especially my beloved GX85 right here for stills photography and also after using this camera for more than one year and after taking hundreds if not thousands of pictures using this Panasonic GX85 I also want to share my thoughts about using this camera for stills photography and also share some sample pictures taken using this particular camera with some combinations of lenses. So now I'm going to share six reasons why the Panasonic Lumix GX85 or any other Panasonic Lumix cameras are not only good for photography but also excels in stills photography and while I'm doing that I will also share some of my sample pictures taken using the Panasonic Lumix GX85 so you can see for yourself those images and also to help you decide whether the image quality taken using this camera is good enough or not. First reason why the Panasonic Lumix GX85 excels in still photography is because of its sensor. And when we're talking about the sensor of this camera, two problems immediately come up. First problem is that, again, this is a micro -footed camera. So this uses micro -footed sensor, which is smaller compared to full frame sensor or APS-C sensor that you usually find from Canon, Nikon, Fujifilm, Sony. So you'll get two problems from that issue and the first problem is that you get less background blur and the second problem is less than ideal low light performance but for me personally it's not really a big problem and as a bonus I get more depth of field so if I'm using larger aperture such as f2 f1.8 I can get more depth of field more things in focus and the second problem is that this sensor is an old 16 megapixel sensor from 2016 or even maybe more than 2016, maybe 2014. This was the same sensor that was found in the original Panasonic GX7. So it's quite old. It's only 16 megapixel. And with that, you cannot really print large images. But for me personally, this sensor is still really nice. It has its own charm. And while I'm sharing some sample pictures for you right now, I just want to say that this sensor doesn't have AA filter, so it retains much greater detail compared to similar sensor with AA filter. So sharpness definitely is really good with this sensor. And then also dynamic range, I can really uh, recover highlights and shadows easily using this sensor. Maybe not as great as some other more advanced cameras or newer cameras, but still for my personal need, it is more than good enough colors are really nice. I think this sensor produces its own kind of charm. It's kind of different from the other kind of cameras that I've used, uh, especially blue colors, green colors uh, pops up a little bit more compared to some other colors. And I really enjoy that kind of vibe, that kind of look that I got from this sensor. 
Second reason why I think the Panasonic Lumix GX85 excels in still photography is its manual control. There are plenty of buttons and dials that you can use to change settings such as aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. And that really increases the tactility of this camera. So it's more enjoyable to use. And if you have more time, such as when you're taking landscape pictures, this really matters because you want to adjust individual settings and you don't want to rely too much on auto settings and that kind of stuff. So yeah, the ability to quickly change settings really makes this camera a joy to use, especially for scenery photography and landscape photography. Next reason why I think the Panasonic GX85 excels in still photography is because of its fast single auto focus. Yes, the continuous autofocus on this camera sucks, but when it comes to single autofocus, especially in stills photography, it is very fast, instantaneous, and also very precise so that you can rely on this camera for capturing that fast action movement, uh, for example, for wildlife photography, or if you're photographing animals, or if you're photographing sports or that kind of stuff, you can really rely on this camera. You can get that focus easily and you get that sharp, nice picture. Next reason that makes the GX85 excels in still photography, I think is the ability to switch to electronic shutter using this camera. When you're using electronic shutter, you have to be mindful that there are some little compromises. First compromise is that you cannot really get that full dynamic range. There's a little bit of hit on your dynamic range, but it's not really that bad and it's not really that critical. And the second issue when you're using electronic shutter is that you'll get some jello effect if you are photographing a moving subject. So this is better suited for still subject that doesn't really move or don't have that much of movement. But with the electronic shutter, you'll be able to make the camera completely silent when you are taking pictures. So this is perfect for some event photography, some portraits, and for uh, like uh, photographing concerts where you have to really be silent so you don't disturb the performer. And also the other benefit of using electronic shutter is that you can prolong the shutter life of your camera so that you can use this camera even longer. Next reason that makes the GX85 excels in still photography is the in-body image stabilizer. So the sensor on the Panasonic GX85 is stabilized. That means if you are using lenses that don't have stabilizer, then you can still stabilize your image. This works really well for both video and also for stills photography. That means I can use lenses like this. This is the Panasonic Lumix 14mm f2.5 that doesn't have stabilizer and I can still get a really slow shutter speed and have the image to be perfectly sharp and doesn't have any movement blur. I think that is something that makes the GX85 a really special camera for still pictures. Uh, some things that you have to note when you're using in-body stabilizer is that this is not really suitable for moving subjects. This is only for a non-moving subjects if you're photographing inanimate object or people that are just standing still, then you can use IBIS but when the people start moving or you're photographing animals that are moving, then there are some possibilities that you'll still get some movement blurs. Next reason why I think the GX85 excels in still photography is because of its small, compact, lightweight form factor. So as you can see, the GX85 is not really that big. It is also not really that heavy. So this is perfect for travel photography and also when you just want to bring this camera out and about with you. And because this camera is not really that much of a burden, it really increases the probability of you bringing out this camera when you are going out and about instead of just bringing your phone. You know the saying, the best camera is the one that you have with you. And you only have your phone when you're going out and about. Uh, that means the best camera is only your phone. 
This Panasonic GX85 again has that 16 megapixel micro four thirds sensor and can produce significantly better image quality compared to even modern day smartphone. So if you're bringing the GX85, then the best camera that you have with you will be this guy right here. And this will be significantly better than just your phone. So if you're bringing this guy more often when you're going out and about, automatically you will take better pictures. So those are all the reasons why I think Panasonic Lumix cameras excel for still photography. So don't be so quick to dismiss any Panasonic Lumix cameras for still photography because as you can see from the sample images and also from some of my reasons that they are capable for taking nice still pictures as well. And that wraps up today's video. So that is all for today's video. I hope that by making this video, I'm able to clear some misconceptions and confusions when it comes to using Panasonic Lumix cameras for still photography. So please comment down below what features that is available in your camera that you think really helps to make your camera excels in still photography. Also, if you have any question, uh, please comment down below and I will try my best to answer as well. Also, don't forget to support my channel by liking this video, sharing this video, subscribing to my channel down below. And if you want to support my channel even further, consider using the affiliate links in the description or using the super thanks button. Thank you and see you on the next video. Goodbye.